Mr. Cry have Prime Master today. We're going to look at indices and index laws at national five level. So this will go through the whole of the laws of indices and then every single past paper on indices that has ever came up. Hopefully I'll give you an in-depth teaching of indices first before we get to the past papers. But let's get started. What are the laws of indices? Well, indices are powers, right? So if I have, say, a to the power of m and a times by a to the power of n, m and n just being any numbers, I can just add the powers. That's law one, a to the power of m plus n. Simple example of that would be if I had a cubed times a squared, the answer would be a to the power of 5. Notice that it has to be a. It cannot be a different thing here and here. It can't be a cubed times b squared. That doesn't give you the rule, okay? It has to be exactly the same. And that works with numbers as well. It could be 3 cubed times 3 squared. That'd be 3 to the power of 5. You get a similar law if you divide. So if I do a to the power of m, divided by a to the power of n, I can just take away the powers, a to the power of m minus n. And that works if it's fractions as well, because fraction means divide. So there's law one, there's law two, but those are your two main ones, but then you've got a bunch of other ones that you need to be aware of. We've got the power power group. So if I had a to the power of m, and then all to the power of n, I could just times the powers. Let's do an example of that one. If I had 3 squared and then cubed, that would be 2 3 to 6. That would be 3 to the power of 6. Another example of this one, though, you need to be very careful, is sometimes you'll combine a number with a letter, such as 3a squared and then to the power of 4. Well, that means you need to split that up into 3 to the power of 4 and then it's a to the power of 2 fours is 8. And you would have to work out 3 to the power of 4, which is 8 to 1. So you would get 8 to 1, a to the 8. So be aware of that one. And then law 4, or a law that you should always know that anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. 5 to the power of 0 is 1. 7 to the power of 0 is 1. Bananas to the power of 0 is 1. Anything at all to the power of 1. 0 is 1. So that's law 4. And you really need to just know and remember these laws. Let's take a negative index. So let's say we had a to the minus m. We can rewrite that as 1 over a to the m. Or conversely, if I had 1 over a to the m, I can write it as a negative power. Okay? You need to be aware of the ones that come up in the context of questions where it asks you to leave your answer as a positive power. Okay, the last two, you can combine it into one, but I'm going to do it as two, is when you've got fractional powers, okay? So let's look at a to the power of 1 over n. What you know, what that means is you've got the nth root of a, and that's law 6. So let's take an example for that one, shall we? A simple one would be a to the half. That means you've got the square root of a. Another example would be a to the quarter. That means you've got the fourth root of a. You need to be able to go back and forth between those two forms. And then taking any fraction, in other words, when you've, the number on top is not 1, let's say a to the power of m over n, then we can write that as the nth power, the bottom, the denominator is the, the nth root of a to the m. The a to the m just comes along for the right. So let's take an example of that. Let's say we had a to the power of 3 quarters. That would be the fourth root of a cubed. Now, often in National 5, you'll get asked to evaluate it with a number to a fractional power. Let's take a simple example. Let's say we had 8 to the power of 2 thirds. Well, that means the cube root of 8 squared. And there's two ways to do this. You can have the 8 squared first, which is 64, then cube root it, which you may not know. Or you can cube root the 8 first and then just square the answer. Either way is going to give you it. The cube root of 8 is 2, so that's just 2 squared still, which would be 4. Let's look at some specific past paper questions now. Very simple past paper question here. This is from 2014, paper 2, question 8. So it's a calculator question, even though you probably don't need it. So you've got simplify n to the power of 5 times 10n over 2n squared. So that is the same as n to the power of 5 times 10n, well that's a power of 1, over 2n squared. So let's just deal with the top and bottom separately. So doing the top, we've got 10n6. Add the powers over 2n squared. 
10 divided by 2 is 5n, and I can take away the powers now, 6 minus 2 is 4. Okay, Laws of Indices, SQ National 5 Maths 2015, Paper 1, Question 14, evaluate 8 to the power of 5 thirds. Now it's a non-calculator question, so we're going to have to change it into a format we can work on. So, 8 to the power of 5 thirds from the Laws of Indices, that is a root. And what type of root is it? Well, the bottom number tells us cube root, and the 8 and the 5 go along underneath the root. So it's the cube root of 8 to the power of 5. So I can either cube root first or after the fact. Might as well do it first because 8 to the power of 5 is a hard sum. So the cube root of 8 is 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So that gives me 2 to the power of 5 still. Because it's just the cube root of 8 I've done. 2 to the power of 5. That's 2 times 2 is 4. Times 2 is 8. Times 2 is 16. Times 2 is 32. And we're done there. 2016, paper 2, question 10. Simplify n squared cubed times 10 to the min n to the minus 10. Give your answer as a positive power. So let's start with the n squared cubed. That gives me 2 times 3 is 6 times n to the minus 10. Times in indices, which means we can add the powers. So that gives me n, 6 take away 10 is negative 4. Leave your answer as a positive power. The last little thing then, 1 over n to the 4 and 1. Laws of indices. The SQA National 5 Maths 2017 Paper 2 Question 12. Express 1 over the cube root of x in the form x to the power of n. So we've got 1 over the cube root of x. You need to know from your laws of indices that a cube root can be written as x to the power of a fraction. The fraction is 1 over 3. 3 from the cube root and because x has got like a mini imaginary 1 here. Once we've done that, your second law is if you've got a fraction, you can take a, make the fraction disappear, take that up to the top, and that becomes a negative power. So in other words, we get x to the minus one third for our final answer. Laws of indices, SQA National 5 Maths, 2018, paper one, question 15. Remove the brackets and simplify. So we've got two thirds, p to the four, squared. So this is your power, power rule. So remember, we looked at this already. We can take the two thirds, and that gets squared as well. And then the p has to, the four has to be squared, but we can use the power power rule. Four times two is eight. So it simplifies to that to start with. But then we need to work out what two thirds squared is. Well, that's two thirds times two thirds. So I can square the top, which is four, and square the bottom, which is nine. And I've got p to the eight, and we're done there. This fraction is simplified. Okay, laws of indices, x squared national 5 maths 2019, paper 2, question 16. Simplify a to the 4 times 3a all over the square root of a. So let's just write that out, a to the 4 times 3a, all divided by the square root of a. Well, let's deal with the top first then. 3 is just times by 1, which is 3, and then the powers, I can put a little 1 on this and add the powers, law 1. 4 plus 1 is 5. So I get a to the 5, and that's over the square root of a. Now, to divide by the square root of a, I'm doing indices, so I need everything to be indices. So that's going to be 3a to the 5 all over a to the half. The square root of a is a to the half. And now I'm dividing indices, so I can take away the powers. So that is 3 to the a, and it's going to be 5 minus a half is what I need to do. Now, 5 minus a half, I want it all in fractions. So I will change that to 3a. And you might know this already, but 5 is 10 halves minus 1 half, to be very clear. So that gives you 3a to the 9 halves. And you could leave your answer like that, because it's just simplified. It doesn't say put it back in a root. But if you were to put it back in a root, it would be 3 times the square root of a to the power of 9 would be your final answer. Laws of indices, SQA National 5 Maths, 2021, paper 1, question 15. Evaluate 16 to the power of 3 halves. So if you have to evaluate a number to the power of a fraction, you need to change that fraction into what it actually means so you can work it out, because it is a paper 1, non-calculator. So we've got 16 to the power of 3 halves. You just need to know that that means the denominator tells you it's the square root of 16, and the numerator tells you you're going to cube it. And remember, you can cube either now or you can cube your answer, which is probably easier, especially when it's non-calculator. The square root of 16 is 4, because 4 times 4 is 16, so that just gives me 4 
cubed. 4 cubed, well, that's 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4 is 64. And we're done there. Question 11. Simplify m to the minus 2 to the power of 4 times m to the minus 5. Give your answer with a positive power. Watch out. Final bit. So you've got m to the minus 2 times 4. That's m to the minus 8 times m to the minus 5. So add the powers. Minus 8 plus minus 5 is minus 13. And I'm almost done. That's 1 over m to the 13 using the fractional rule for negative indices. Laws of indices, this way national by mass, 2023, paper 1, question 12. Simplify 5c to the power of negative 2, all over c cubed times c to the 4. It says give your answer with a positive power. We'll deal with that last. So we've got 5c to the minus 2, all over, well, c cubed times c4, lower 1, add the powers. 3 plus 4 is 7, c7. And now we've got rule two. A divide means we can take away the powers. Notice that five just ha comes along for the right, so we'll just leave the five alone. And then we're going to do minus two, take away seven. Well, that's negative nine. So it's c to the negative nine. No power on the five. And then the last rule we're going to look at is we've got a negative power. You can write that as one over the positive power. So you could write that as five times, I'll write a times sign for you, one over c to the nine. Simplifying that, that's just 5 over c to the 9 then. And we're done there. This has been Mr. Clem from Clem Master. We've done indices and index laws at National 5 level. Hopefully you found that teaching useful and helpful. If so, give it a like and a subscribe. And consider coming back. We're doing National 5 videos now every single week. Take care, stay safe, and goodbye.